Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. Today I'm taking a look at Orleans 3. Specifically in this video, I wanted to look at the co-hosting support, which is enabled but now with Orleans using the generic host, which means that we can run an Orleans silo right side by side with ASP.NET Core. Let's take a look. So what I have here is a empty .NET Core 3 MVC application. So this is just created using .NET new MVC. So it's just pretty much blank. I just have a uh, home controller and really nothing else, uh, just the default from the, from the actual template. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> first add some packages that we need for Orleans. So to do so, I'm going to add the uh, Microsoft uh, Orleans, and then we are going to include core. And I'm also going to include, actually, let's add a version here. So this is going to be 3.0. And we also, because I'm going to be running a silo, we're going to run the server. And I'm also going to kind of show using everything with um, an actual grain just for demo purposes here. So we're going to also need to include some cogen for our grain that we create. And that one, I believe, is called code generator MS build. So these are the three packages I'm going to use um, to kind of get us started to get our co hosting support with the generic generic host. All right, so now what we need to do is jump up over to the program.cs and look at our host builder. So the cool thing now with this, which I kind of been waiting for, which is now in uh, Orleans 3, is the ability to use generic host. So that allows us to run our web host, uh, ASP.NET Core, along with Orleans and have them both use things like DI and logging um, all together that we're going to configure here. So what I can do is just chain on here. We can now use use Orleans, and this is our silo builder that we can configure. So I'm just going to use the local host clustering. I think that's yeah. There we go. Just because we're running this locally. And then I'm going to, let's add some more stuff here. So let's configure logging. And we will use the console log. All right, so now what we'll do is let's just run this. It's not doing much other than it's going to have our home controller. But what I can, at least you can see here now though, is that logging, although we, so we configured it to use the console, it's gonna use the console for both um, ASP.NET Core and Orleans, because again, these are all chained together using the same hosts. So our silo is gonna be running side by side with our ASP.NET Core app. So let's give this a run. Now we check out the console here. Here's our MVC app running, that's great. And if we look at the actual console, I get right to the beginning. So we can see we have Orleans uh, doing some warnings here. And then we can see this is our hosting, making some logs. And then if we down further, we can see the silo again from Orleans. So again, logging <clears throat> hand in hand uh, that we've configured is being used by ASP.NET Core and by Orleans. All right, so the last thing I want to show here is actually using a grain from within a controller. So I am going to add a directory. Let's call this grains. And then let's add a new class called call this our order number generator. I always use this as an example just because um, Orleans is um, being able to execute grains synchronously. So I am going to use an I grain with, let's just do string for now. And let's give it one method. We'll make it <clears throat> be a task, although it probably doesn't need it to be, but 
let's call this generate order number. So let's go to our order member generator, which is going to be a grain, and it's going to implement I, I order number generator. So here, let's create a private integer called current invoice number. And then what we'll do here is we will increment it and then we'll return it. So this, in reality, could be do some I.O. That's why I'm creating a task, like maybe you're hitting the database or something like that. <clears throat> but the idea being is that you just have this simple grain that's going to increment um, this invoice number uh, on startup. So the reason I'm showing this is because I want to show that now because we have the same host builder and we're using the same DI registrations, what we can actually do here is we can inject the iCluster client that is from Orleans. Uh, we don't have to do anything since we've already added Orleans to the host builder. So I can go over here and let's do let's go get our grain. So this is the I order number generator. And let's just call this demo. And we can call this grain. So let's say we've got an order number. We should await this actually. Let's make this asynchronous. And what we can do is let's actually pass this order number into the view. So let's change this so that it can take a model. It's just going to be an integer. And let's display it somewhere. Let's get rid of this, get rid of the welcome, and we'll just display our model, which will be our number. All right, that's it. All right, so let's give this a run, and we can see how this works. So you can see immediately we get our number one as we're um, incrementing it, when we refresh, our number keeps changing. So again, this shows that now because we're using the host builder, um, DI is connected to each other, logging is connected to each other. Uh, it's a really cool way to um, kind of host things together. If you have an ASP.NET um, application, you want to host a silo um, with it on the same process, you can now do so um, by using what's in built in now to Orleans 3. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. If there are any topics you want me to cover uh, more related to Orleans, dive, diving a little bit deeper or related to CQRS or event sourcing, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to cover it. Thanks.